Hi everyone, Fintan here from Dams and Cloud. Last time in our Gemini series, I spoke to you about security within Gemini. And this week, I'd like to just give you a brief overview of the product, and what capabilities that it has. So let's get into it. From the beginning, Google has helped you collaborate and communicate within Google Workspace. And Gemini is now your assistant or enthusiastic intern that will help you get more done within Google solutions. It helps you with write, visualize, organize, and connect in meaningful ways. So let's talk through some of these areas now. But before I do, I just wanted to talk about how Google is an industry pioneer and leader within AI. Since 2015, um, Google has been leading the way with AI from Google's DeepMind to AlphaGo. Um, in 2017, they actually kick-started the LLM revolution. Um, and you can see here on this slide, right up until uh, the present day, Google has been leading the way within generative AI. So as I mentioned, um, Gemini within Google Workspace, because Gemini is a brand, you'll hear it used by Google across uh, GCP and other areas. So it's important to know that I'm talking about Gemini within Google Workspace. Um, with Help Me Write, Gemini works best behind the scenes, helping you write and uh, refine your, your work. With, with Create, it will help you create images in Google Slides and meetings or backgrounds, um, which, is, which is very useful for um, end users. Organize will help you analyze and organize your data within Google Sheets. And then connect within video calls will help you have conversations so that you look your best and sound your best uh, and can understand everybody within the call. Help me write within Google Docs. This is probably one of the simplest to understand. Um, with, with Gemini, you can generate content embedded within Google Docs. So unlike other solutions, you're not having to leave and then maybe copy and paste the data back in, you're actually able to generate the content directly within Google Docs. And um, Google recommend, or the recommended prompt length is 21 words, by the way. If anyone uh, doesn't know that, we have a, a great prompt guide that we'll um, link to below. And um, within Google Docs, as I said, you can uh, easily create content. You also have the same capability within Gmail. Um, and it gets you past, both of them kind of get you past that blank page um, syndrome that, that can happen to a lot of people when they're trying to get started. I've used it within Google Docs and within, um, within Gmail. Fantastic for writing very long documents as well, like policies and stuff like that. You can generate a, a huge amount of, of content. Um, and obviously, it's important that you review the content that's generated, but it, it's a fantastic way of, as I said, getting past that, that blank page. Within Gmail, and there's another feature as well that allows you to expand um, or summarize uh, data and also formalize. And I love the formalize one. Um, you can kind of throw down the information that you need for an email. It can be bullet points or whatever. And then you can just ask Gemini to, to formalize it for you. And it will essentially expand on, on what you've sort of dumped in in a couple of words and, and turn it into an email pretty much ready to send. And that's been very, very powerful, um, certainly for myself. Next, we have Google Slides. Um, we all use uh, things like, like slides to create engaging presentations, and images are a huge part of that. And within uh, Gemini, you can now create images, again, from a simple prompt. There are different sort of styles that you can choose from. Uh, I prefer the photography style because I'm into my photos and videos, um, but it's up to yourself. And you can also describe to Gemini <coughs> what type of style that you'd like as well, um, if you'd prefer. I found with the, um, with the images, the more accurate you are, and actually the longer this particular uh, prompt is, the more it will kind of be what you are looking for. Um, so that would be my advice on the slides. Next up, we have Google Sheets. And this helps you organize and manage your data. Um, and within Sheets, one of the simplest um, um, areas is the ability to actually generate, again, from a blank page and, and a couple of uh, words and a prompt, um, a template for you to get started. And I find within Sheets, that's often the problem for me, where I know what I kind of want to do, but I'm having to like guess what kind of columns and manage the, the, the columns. With, with uh, Gemini, I can now put in the prompt of what it is I'm trying to do, and Gemini will create a, a sheet for me. Obviously, I can then go in and I can edit it, I can rerun the prompt, etc. But it allows me to very quickly get going within Google Sheets. 
Um, I'm not going to talk about side panel till maybe the end, but side panel allows you to kind of interrogate your data. We'll talk about that at the, at the end. Next, we have Google Meet. And Google's trying to help you connect and um, sort of express yourself here. So you can generate uh, backgrounds um, if you want, with a lot of people working from home. Again, a, a very valuable um, uh, solution for a lot of people. Also, looking your best is really important. So within the Google Meet solution, you have uh, the ability to do studio lighting. I actually quite, quite like this, again, being a little bit of a video nerd. Sometimes you've got some light coming in from the background, you don't quite look right. And the studio lighting allows you to adjust this, uh, which is fantastic. And I've used this quite a bit, again, when I'm on the go and I'm traveling, and I'm not in an optimum setting uh, when it comes to uh, my video. Google Meet also makes you sound your best. So Gen AI's algorithms are ensuring that um, the audio is crisp and clear and that if you're in a noisy environment. Can you hear me clearly? It's getting unscheduled. It's critical. If you're in section 11, that's out of my night and tomorrow. Can you hear me clearly? To stay on schedule, it's critical that we update the figures in section 11.7. By 9 a.m. tomorrow. And then finally, within Google Meet, we have um, translation. I think translation is really important when we have language barriers. At the moment, Google has 17 supported languages that are translated live captions uh, within Google Meet using Gemini, and 52 more languages um, are on the way, which is fantastic. And this is, I'm going to talk about it later on, a SKU that you can purchase on its own. So if you wanted the Google Meet, uh, capabilities, that's something that you can do. Next up, we have AI classification. This is a really interesting one that Google launched at Google Next, and it leverages Google's large language model and your organization's understanding of sensitive data and, and the, the risk of your data, and will actually analyze and classify your documents based on your uh, requirements. So this is using Google's labels and, and drive classification solution linked with its LLMs and its generative AI solution. So a really interesting solution for a lot of customers, and again, a feature that you can purchase on its own. So talking about the different features and SKUs, I want to get into that now. Um, but before I do, I just want to briefly mention side panel. So Google um, Gemini AI side panel is a new feature that was launched recently that allows you to just go beyond some of those areas we were talking about of generating content and actually interrogating your data. So with side panel, you can now, you kind of have Gemini within Gmail, within Drive, and you can say, hey, Gemini, can you look for emails from Donal that mention X, Y, Z? Great, can you summarize those emails for me? Or within Drive, can you take a look at documents that mention project X, Y, Z? Can you summarize that for me? Um, and you know, can you generate content based on Google's LLM, but also based on these particular documents, like here's the information um, that I've researched. Can you, you know, generate some information from that? So it allows you to do a lot more, uh, and particularly with, with things like uh, Sheets and Drive, uh, it's very, very powerful. We're going to, in our, in our um, next sort of section, we're going to be doing a demo of the product. I think people will understand it better uh, when you see it in action. So I want to wrap up with the different SKUs because there are four, uh, and I'm going to be reading from these so I don't make any mistakes. Um, we've got uh, Gemini Enterprise, Gemini Business, Gemini AI Security SKU, and Gemini AI Meetings and Messaging. So let's just go through those. The Gemini Enterprise is basically everything. It's your advanced meeting, it's your translation, it's your AI automatic classification, it's your full generative AI experience. No monthly usage limits, $30 per user per month with an annual commitment. Gemini Business is for maybe smaller businesses and teams that don't feel that they need the AI classification. They don't need um, some, you know, they're, they're okay with some uh, monthly limits. The limits are quite high, and I think for a lot of small to medium sized customers, this is fine, and they often get started with this. Uh, it's also, you have access to Gemini 1, um, 1.0 Ultra, so again, Google's most capable AI model. Um, and that's $20 per user per month with the one-year commitment. Then we have the AI security one that I mentioned. This is the classification, automatically classifying your sensitive files using privacy, preserving LLMs specific to your organization, and protecting classified files with existing DLP and contacts to wear access. That's $10 per user per month. It does need to be across the organization because the um, classification is across the organization for that particular one. 
the other ones you can buy for as, as uh, you know for less users in the organization. And then finally, we have AI meeting and messaging. And I think this is just for customers that only want that meeting bit, the Google Meet and maybe the chat. And so this is the helping you look good, generating custom backgrounds, advanced meeting translation, and then letting Gemini take notes, which is a very powerful feature. And then Google chat summaries. This isn't something that's out yet, but that's um, on the way. Okay, and that one's $10 per user per year. That one you can buy for a subset of your organization. I hope you guys found this video valuable. As I said, next we're going to be doing some demos of Gemini. Uh, so do hit that subscribe button if you want to keep up to date with all of, uh, all of that. I would like to let you guys know that Dance and Cloud can help you in your generative AI and Gemini journey. We are helping customers with um, to kind of customize pilots where we're helping customers through the pilot um, and managed pilots uh, with customers. We've also created a huge amount of resources. So at Dance and Cloud, we have a Gemini trainer, we have a Google site with lots of uh, training material on it, we've got prompt guides, and these are resources that we um, give to our customers when they're going through their generative AI journey. If you're a customer of Dams and Clouds and you're interested, please do reach out to our, our account management team, and if you're not a customer of Dams and Clouds, uh, please reach out to our sales team and they can tell you how you can become one. That's it for me, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.